morning. New this morning, fire season brings new challenges every summer, which is why the Denver Fire Department has prepared to deliver help from above in challenging situations. They are now using drones and 90s reporter Brianna Fernandez is live outside the Denver Fire Headquarters this morning. Brianna, these drones help firefighters view a scene before firefighters even have to go in. Exactly. So a bird's eye view, something that they can't see as soon as they arrive, like you mentioned. So really, these drones can go over structure fire, high rise building, especially here in downtown Denver. So when firefighters arrive, they say that they also these drones have helped them with thermal imaging that identifies hot spots, something that they can't see as soon as they arrive on scene. So take a look at your screen. These are some of the examples that have been used within the fire department. So we know that they launched their drone program about five years ago, but they really started using the drones three years ago. Now, it could be used both at night and daytime and the main use for the drones is during fires but the fire department tells me that they've also used them for water rescues and high angle rescues they've also deployed drones to help the denver police department during swat calls and other calls the department's most advanced drone can fly in the rain snow and wind up to 40 miles per hour now every angle and video from the drone is streamed to three monitors in specialized response vehicles that can be fed back and sent to anyone within the department to help in emergencies we uh, use our drones for mapping and we map structures like uh, like uh, Coors Field. Uh, we're we'll doing that this week. We'll also we mapped uh, Empower Field, the Bronco Stadium. And the reason we do that is so we can uh, have our fire prevention people add into our map all the connection points, uh, fire command centers, that sort of thing. So if we do have an incident over there, our incident command knows where to go when, when uh, something happens. So currently uh, for overnight fires, they do need to call the on call drone pilot to come out. So right now they're very limited to what they can do. They do have a couple of drones and seven pilots right now trained and licensed. What they're trying to do, what the department's trying to do is bring in more licensed pilots and also more drones to the department. That way they can have drones at all hours, 24 hours a day at any scene that they go to. For now, I'm live in Denver, Brianna Fernandez for Nine News. It's going to be a game changer for them, Brianna. Interested to see how it's used. All right, thank you.